In today's video, I'm going to be going over how I got the only Scovile belt on a server, which gives you over 1,000 defense. If you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe to the channel with me. I'll be going over how I got it, how you can get it, and everything related to it, including testing it out. I'm with your best joke. If we get 500 likes, I'll, I will roll it. You must be subscribed in order, in order to win. So subscribe, like, comment. Let's get into it. The other thing we're going to be talking about is the Scovile belt. Now, the Scovile belt is absolutely crazy. First off, how do you get, or how are you supposed to get the Scovile belt? The Scovile belt is a thing that can be crafted from the Magma Boss, and it uses Recumal Ember Fragments and Compact Ooze. It can also be used to craft up something called the Scovile belt. This thing's nutty. It gives strength, defense, and gain 50 defense per ignited enemy within a 10 block radius, up to a maximum of 1,000 defense. That's really good. The first thing, how does that work, and what does ignited actually mean? Now, ignited means on fire. Now, I am going to confirm to see if fire fail works, but basically speaking, how it works is anytime you set a mob on fire and you do fire damage to it, you will gain 50 defense. How it should work, unless it's bugged, is every single time I shoot a mob, I should get in defense. So, my defense is at 8... 38, 8, 93. You see it, right? That stacks up. And so every single time I shoot a mob with a bow, I gain defense. This stacks up to 1,000 defense gained. So, basically, I become a fucking tank. Like, tanky as shit. Alright, chat. Now we're getting to Kudra, and I want to see how much defense I can actually get, because there's so much problems in Kudra. I'm gonna equip Terra, I'm gonna start to shoot three arrows at once, and we'll see if I can get tankier than Goldor. If I get over 60,000 HP, I call that a win. Or 60,000 EHP. Yeah, I mean, because I theoretically should be able to get 1.8k defense, which is ridiculous. Is it not enough? It's been a while since I've worn Goldor. How much defense does Goldor give? Health and defense wise. I know HP is like 70,000 something. I'm. Uh! I'm doing this in Terra armor though, because I want to shoot three shots instead of one. Oh boys, they're just spawning in. These poor souls ain't ready for the amount of bullshit they're about to go through. Let's see how much we can get without dying. 1,400. 500. 800. 1,800 defense. No, this is not what I want to be. Give me out. Looks, we, looks like we got to 1,800 defense. Yeah, 1,800, 1,800, 1,900, 1,900 defense, boys. I know we already lost this, but 1,900 defense in terror armor. How much is that? I can't, I cannot be, I'm not able to check stats. 63,000, 63,000 HP. I just got more, I just, 63,000, I'm pretty sure that's more than Goldor. I just got more HP than Goldor in fucking terror armor. That's ridiculous. You're probably wondering what this works. So it works with bows, but also works with some other items that you can do as well. You're probably wondering how. How does any bow work? Uh, because it's a unique thing called flame, where it literally says ignite your enemies for 3.5 seconds. That's how you can do it. You can also equip it with fire aspect or ignite it. There's a bunch of other stuff you can do, but flame is the most is a big way because especially you can put it on Terminator. Ooh, that's a really good point. Okay. People are saying Fire Veil wand would work. It looks like I happen to have one right here. The Fire Veil wand, it creates a veil of fire around you. I, it should work. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't, but who knows? It's I pixel, right? Like, <laughs> how are we supposed to know? Okay, so let me just double check. I've got myself. Looks like my Scovia belt is equipped. I have 942 defense because I'm using um, my Storm Armor. Uh, so I'm starting off with 940 defense. I right click this. And now that 940 defense. 1,200. Yes, it does work. Repeat. Yes, Scovile Belt does indeed work with Fire Veil Wand. 994. Yup, it works. Okay. That's huge. Because for Mage, when you sit on the cannons, you can equip Fire Veil Wand. And if you have it equipped, you can damage mobs surrounding you. And if that works with other stuff, that would be insane. Like, actually crazy. Alright, that means this is actually good for mages as well. This is actually insane for mages who are using Fire Veil. Holy crap, this thing's broken. How did I get this? Because currently, it's bugged, and you cannot actually get Compact Ooze. A Compact Ooze, you can't actually get from Mac Boss. So, how did I get it? 
because he needed to craft it. But how did I actually get it? Now, we need to understand something called salvaging, specifically with nether items. I found this out on stream a little while ago that this actually works and it's pretty crazy. Let me go buy myself a Ragnarok Axe so I can show you. The Ragnarok Axe can mine is crafted with 20 wither skulls, or hollowed skulls, and a stick. So if I claim my Ragnarok Axe and I gotta salvage it, I gain half of its cost back. So one stick and 10 hollowed skulls. I gain half of its cost back. This should work with any item. You gain half of its cost back if you cannot gain Crimson Essence from it. This includes items that are dropped from the Magma Boss that contain Compact Ooze. The two items that this works with, I'm stupid and I'll explain why in a second. The two items this works with is Fire Fury Staff and Scourge Cloak. Both of these can be dropped from the boss. However, now, keep in mind, it's rare to drop these from the boss. It's like a boss. 1 in 100 to 200 chance. But it's possible when people actually do have them. Meaning I can buy them from AH and then actually salvage them. Alright, now that I have both the items, let's work on salvaging it and crafting up the first ever Skull Vial Belt to my knowledge. Alright, boys. Let's just put the good item. crafting recipes. I don't... Think they did i don't know why they would but we just gotta hope all right first one down i got the 10 all right another one okay so i got the 20. now we're just gonna craft it up and then we're finally done first ever scovile belt on the entire server meaning all you have to do is salvage two either fire figure staffs or scourge cloaks and then you could actually get the armor piece for yourself that's exactly what i did now, i pulled an oopsie whoopsie and accidentally decided to salvage two scourge cloaks i didn't realize fire fury staff was a threat it was a thing my bad so it cost me 100 million coins to get this but you can get it for 40 million coins and it gives you a thousand free defense it's broken i don't think the admins were i think the reason admins didn't have compact ooze maybe was to try and work on balancing skull via belt could be wrong though either way it is broken now, currently on AH, if we search up Scourge Cloak, Scourge, we can see the Scourge Cloak goes for 50 million coins here, so it costs you 100 million coins from that, or Fire Fury Staff, you can buy it for around, you can get around 18 million coins per, so 36 million coins in total. Now, I'm going to actually get into a Kudu Boss fight so I can show you how broken this thing is and how I got 62,000 HP in Lapis Armor. It is ridiculous, or in Terror Armor, it is ridiculous. Alright, if you guys enjoyed today's video on how I got the first and only Skull Vial belt on the server, currently, as soon as I upload this, someone else is going to get in and be like, oh my god, I got the second one, whatever. How I got the first and only Skull Vial belt on the server, and how I got, and how broken it actually is. If you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe, and share the middle to me, see you guys next one, peace out.